All right. What we got in was a Ray Marine CE0191 uh, chart plotter. Big device. Let's get into it. So this actually came in late last season. Um, customer had a broken flex connector and he had saved the, the clamping part. It was just a little post that it broke off. Um, so instead of getting a new connector, I'm able to get the clamp back in position and contact all the, the clamping side of the, the contacts. And then you kind of cover it with hot glue and capped on tape. And it, it does make a reliable repair as long as everything's in good shape. The ribbon is not damaged, the contacts are not damaged. So there's a bunch of screws on this front bezel that you take off. And there's a, a pretty good watertight gasket. You want to uh, make sure you don't damage that when you take it apart. Now this one I know opens up. But if you're opening one for the first time, it could be a little sticky. So these, I believe, have another front bezel that go over them, but I think that's part of his mounting on the boat. He's never brought it with the whole front cover. So I did the repair on the flex connector, and um, a couple weeks later he calls me, he says it's doing it again. And by then it was the end of the season, so he was putting the boat in storage and he just dropped it off and says, you know, figure out what we want to do. So this is probably going to be a couple parts. We're going to get it open, and then we're going to be able to uh, ID what we may need to get. We're either going to retrofit the CCFL backlight to an LED, or we're gonna get new, a new LED, a couple new LED tubes. So it's got these clips on here. Yeah, okay, so I just pulled it a little bit this way and it loosened up. So take care of your bezel. And here's the gasket. You want to be protective of these too. You don't want anything to happen to it. You see how the button stayed in there? You don't want to tear that. I don't even know what it would cost to buy one. So then we've also got this UV cover. And you don't want to scratch that. And here's our display. Now before we get that, we need to get this other board out. And this is the similar backflip type of connector. Now we'll just loosen that for now. Because then once we get this board off, we can lift it. It's got another, another little clip right there. And just gently pry it back. We've got one here. Now the whole thing will lift off of there. And don't lose your buttons. So actually I think, I think at this point, yeah, the whole thing will lift off. So don't let it fall apart on you. So we could actually, uh, taking that front keyboard off. We could have actually taken that front keyboard off uh, with that back cover off. So here's our fluorescent backlight. Let's unplug that and we'll get these wires out of the way. This whole plug is going to go through here. So let's get this uh, display off. Got four screws that hold it on. And I believe these screws are stainless, so they're not magnetic.
And there's no screw up there for some reason. We're gonna we're gonna look at that. Cause this is the first time I'm taking this display off. I've never gone this far. I'll show you real quick. This was this was the hot glue fix. So that little black plastic piece in there, the little tabs on each end broke off and it fell out. But if you get those lined up just right, get your flex in and lower that, you'll you'll clamp all those contacts and they'll they'll work good and you just give it some hot glue just to keep it from moving. This thing is on a boat and it vibrates around so so now at this point now you saw I took those screws out so I was holding this I wasn't gonna let it fall out but this should flip out at this point and it might not now hold on I know what I forgot so part of the problem is I think we've got a connector behind this board because you see this thing is just silicone glued in I think that's where our real failure is. I don't think it's so much the backlight. So down under here we've got another backflip. So you can see it right there. So you really want to be careful with these things, the wrong direction. Too much force the wrong way, you'll break the pins off. You want to let that connector tell you what it's doing. If it's fighting too much, you need to regroup and do something else. See how it just clipped right up? So now I'm going to remove this this way because I've got this fixed. I don't want to disconnect this. We're just going to pull this flex from out of that board. This thing's got a really interesting device. It's got all these, or uh, this thing's got a really interesting design. It's got all these clips that are holding the board in. Actually, I see a screw. We got a screw we got to get out. Now up here. And it does have all these surface mount contacts, so don't damage those. This is probably why the screw's there. It'd be nice to actually see another one here. So why don't we have that? Is it just completely inaccessible? Yeah, it's under this plastic cover. And what keeps that on that plastic cover is completely soldered on. So there's no way to even put that screw in there. Now we're down to the bottom board. We've got both of these connect, uh, disconnected. And again, we've got these clips that are holding this in. I'm not quite sure the best sequence. But we're just going to go very gentle with this guy. And we disconnected the flex, so nothing was holding us. But look at this board, how it's just siliconed in. I have a feeling, like listen to that, it's loose. I have a feeling that this connector going to the back of the LCD is where most of our problems lie. So let's actually give this a bit of a slice. Yeah, look at that. So there's the connection at the back of the, LC the, the LCD screen. I bet you this guy has come loose and he's vibrating in there. And especially sitting outside in the heat and the cold, it probably gives enough to lose a connection and he loses his display. 
think that's really what's going on here. But we're going to put in the option. See, so don't take those screws out yet. Wait until this very part here to actually get this screen out. Okay, and it nuzzles under. There's a little, little clip right here. You slide that guy out. And with everything disconnected, it comes free. Now you've got a snake gear. Fluorescent light wires out of there. Now we're down to the display. You want to be really careful with this. You don't want to damage this uh, interface board, this timing control board, whatever they call it. So here's our connector. What I want to know is, what does it take to physically attach that thing? Can we actually screw this? So I've got a screw hole here, and what's going, where does that go? Because why can't we screw this in? How about on the other side? I've got the screw here, but that wants to be like that. Yeah, I'd really like to find a way to mechanically attach this. We're going to try something later. But what I'm looking for right now is I want this CCFL tube so I can possibly find replacement CCFLs. Because since we're in here, and I've seen a lot of these industrial uh, displays like this. A lot of these, there's a little clip right here. Let's see if I can do it so you guys can see it. And if you pull that clip back without breaking it, it's a better way. Can I get this way? Just need to clear that. And this whole CCFL bulb, this whole assembly, pulls right out. And there's your CCFL bulbs. There's two of them in here. You can see the two pink wires. They all go to a common neutral. So there's a there's a little bit of blackening on there, and like I said, if we can find these, we're going to replace them, or we're going to upgrade to LED. Give comments below on which way you would go with this. Replace the CCFLs and leave the power assembly as it is, or uh, upgrade it to LED. It is on a boat, and this is radio, so we need to be we need to consider if the LED driver is going to give off EMF and uh, give us trouble with our with our char chart plotter. All right, that's it for this time. We're going to uh, figure out if we're going to get new CCFL bulbs or upgrade to an LED and find a low EMF driver. Um, we're also going to take a look and see if we can't mechanically attach that little board uh, to the back of this display to ensure that this doesn't lose connection. We might even go in there and look at these and, and clean them up and uh, maybe even give them a little little tweak, put a little normal force back into them. Um, what else was there? I think that was it. All right, like, subscribe, catch you next time.